Okay, so this is where I am now with this stacked center conveyor concept. It's gotten a little crazy high. And if you remember from the last video, I started with all the basic stuff way down there on the north end. And I've been increasing complexity until we're all the way down here. And this is my little nuclear island down here because I've just started getting some power plants online. So all this gets radioactive down there. And I have added a train, although it's not my own design. Uh, the trains really were puzzling me, so I decided to copy a blueprint of an excellent train system that wraps around the entire continent. And I'm learning about trains using that. And right now, the only thing I have running is a train shuttling some materiel from swamp area. Let's see where that train is now. Oh, it's on its way back. Maybe I can catch it as it goes. Let's see. Yep, there it is. I hear the train a coming. It's coming round the bend. And I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. You cannot get run over by a train, I'm told. And the only problem is this passes right over my nukes here, so I get irradiated as I go by, but no big deal. I have my hazmat suit on. And this is running bauxite from the swamp area to here. So I'll get out. And it's going to unload. Side here. There it goes. Wee doogie. And the problem is my been doing this a while, so all my storage is backed up right now. I'm not using that much bauxite at the moment. I'm just making some alumina with it. So it's backing up. So I have that coming in here into the old section where I was building most of the early game stuff. And then having it piped all the way over the other end because I'm using that alumina for some... Uh, actually, I'm using that alumina solution to make batteries because I want to get into drones. And since the factory has gotten so long, I've put in these uh, hyper tubes. So I can ride to the other side real quick without walking. Yeah, it clips through the ground. Sue me. It still works. Wee doggy! Right, this is actually where the uh, that alumina comes in it's being processed with from the box site to make batteries so I can start playing with drones which kind of work like trains but are cooler because they can fly anywhere yeah. and you need a lot of batteries to run the drones uh, like I said, I've got a nuclear plant going now. I've got four of them, actually. I'm only running one. I've got so much excess power from my fuel plants that uh, I really don't need to run all four of these nukes right now. I think I've just got this one turned on. Yep. And you see I've got plenty of power to spare. If I turn it off, then I'm kind of getting closer to maxing out my power needs. 
but uh, with one plant running, I got plenty, and I got three more I can turn on. But right now, I'm holding off on that because I don't know if I've got my waste disposal system balanced yet, which is what this is over here. I know it's yeah. See, this is empty, so it's it's balanced just fine right now. I'm getting rid of all the the waste, but it's only from one plant. I don't know if it'll scale up for three plants yet. I'm gonna have to just bring them online slowly and see what happens. I haven't done the calculations yet. And yeah, I'm taking radiation here, but like I said, I got a hazmat suit on. I got my iodine filters. I'm good. My gloriously tall conveyors. Well, that's where I'm at with this. I have some more hypertubes here. One to get the aluminum factory, and one to just to get to the center of the factory here. Just makes getting around a little quicker. Well, that's where I'm at. 